I kind of want to get a sense of from your vantage point. um, Like we had talked about uh, like a little bit, uh, like a quick second ago, we had talked about um, that Canon remix. And I told you that was the one for as far as you go, like that kind of put you on my radar, whether it was that track or another track. What do you feel like in your career was the one track or one moment even that kind of changed the trajectory of everything for you? Like as early as possible, if that if that question makes sense. Yeah, or in the I, earliest thing. Yeah, I'm. I was never one of those artists, man. That got like the the, the big break moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's kind of my point. Is like your your trajectory was kind of slow and slow and steady. Yeah. But again, I feel like that was such a huge record in itself that right. in my in my social circle, you know, what I'm saying that's when people started talking about Willie the Kid. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I mean, that's that's. I think that's what my team as a whole got more of attention. You know what I'm saying? Like that was mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. biggest platform my team was on. So by default, you're gonna see Willie the Kid and hear Willie the Kid. Um, when I first met Don Cannon, that probably was the, that was probably a breakthrough moment for me. But and but right. it wasn't Instagram shit back then, and nobody right, knew who right, he was, right. who I was either. We just was two young people at, in college, so it was it wasn't a big break. But that was that's where my network began. Uh, mm-hmm. to be able to go do music professionally. You know what I'm saying? So by the time y'all heard Cannon, man, we had to, we, we, we threw a hundred parties and, you know what I'm saying? And did a hundred shows and put out music. And it, for us, that was just a, that was just another day on the job. You know what I'm saying? But right. for the world, it was the first time they saw us on that platform. Man. I, I, I just got to follow yeah, up yeah, though. Yeah, like fact, fact. how did, how did Wayne and Freeway end up on that though? Like that's, those are two crazy motherfuckers that have on a track. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did that, do you, do you know like how that, or can you speak about like how that came about? Uh, Cannon was my song. I wrote that record. That's my song. Um, I was, me, me and Don Cannon lived together. We had an apartment um, out of college and he made that beat in the living room and I wrote the rap right there on the couch where he made the beat, like right there. You, you down in the A? You down Fucking in the A crazy. in college? Or yeah, this is you still uh, Michigan? Yeah, okay. in the A in school, yeah. Okay. He, he made the beat, I wrote the, I wrote the rhyme right there on the spot and recorded crazy. the rap right there, boom. And then my man Detroit Red, he was in and out the crib too. Shout out to Detroit oh, Red. He put a verse on Detroit it too. Detroit Red, boom. I remember his verse. So, so the record is me and Detroit Red. That's, that's the original can, that's the record, that's it. Mm-hmm. It was just so dope. That by the time the label started knocking, we needed a song to to pitch and, and lead and knock get down the door. Right. So they so they sent that they sent that record to them to everybody. You know what I'm saying? No, everybody. Man. That's why so many people on that song. That's why so many versions of that. Song. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like There's four, so many four, verses, bro. Four, four, five, <laughs> that they, sent, they sent that song to anybody and everybody. To try to put some 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 legs underneath it, cause I didn't have a name at the time. You know what I'm saying? Right. Detroit Red didn't have a name, and Don Cannon neither, for that matter. He was a new producer, so we needed to get somebody on there to give us some gravity, especially when you want that, with the label to invest in it as a single or as a, just a, a lead record. Period. So we right. sent it to everybody. I mean, Ti did like three verses on that on that record. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's it's three different versions out there with Ti having three different right. versions. You know, that's crazy. Then, then, then we did it again and used it for a, a introduction for the radio show. And Snoop Dogg is on there, so it's a version of Snoop. Oh Dogg. wow, that's cra- I didn't even hear that. That's, that's crazy. That's yeah, I haven't even heard Snoop Dogg on that. That's crazy. Early. Early.